Joined on the broadcast by former Scream Eagles forward Nick McNeil, currently assistant coach of the Cape Breton West Islanders in his first year in that role. Nick, tell us about your decision to hang up the skates of pro hockey and come home to be a coach. It was a tough decision, obviously. Love playing hockey, love the game. It just came to that point where I think it was just time. I had a few tough injuries the last two or three years. May have taken a step back. I decided to just retire, move back home, and finishing up some school right now and kind of just doing the coaching thing on the side. You look back at your career, you spend a number of years here in UMB and some time in the pros as well. What stands out from your hockey career? My time in Cape Breton, obviously, is something I'll never forget. I think I really turned into kind of like a, a man and a hockey player all at the same time. I do those four years over again for the rest of my life pretty much every year. And then I went to UNB for four years. That was pretty special to win a national championship, and that was pretty much the main reason why I wanted to go there was to win and obviously to get a degree at the same time. Those things and pro hockey, just to see the way things work, more of a business side professionally and to see the top players at the top of their leagues, something I'll never forget. Speaking of national championships, the team you are an assistant coach for now is the defending national champs, the first ever Atlantic team to do it. Obviously, you weren't with the team last year, but you were an alumni of the team. How exciting was it in that region and for former players to see them do that last season? It was awesome. I really turned into a fan. I seen they were doing well at the Atlantic. It was crazy. They lost their first game or whatever, and then they came back two or three times in the Atlantic Challenge. And anyway, they got to the final and then won that. Just getting to the Telus Club is a huge accomplishment for you know any team, especially if it's from the Cape Breton area. And then what they did there was something special. Obviously, it was meant to be. They might not have the best skilled team, highest offense or defense, but they certainly had the best team and they gelled well together. And it was awesome to see. I know there's a lot of crowd Cape Bretoners proud of them, what they did. One of your jobs now is an assistant coach of the team. Tell us about adjusting to life as a coach and how it's been different from playing. It's certainly a lot different. I decided to coach because coaching is something I've always wanted to do. It is different. You're not on the ice five, six days a week. You're just kind of showing up to practice. My job as a coach, I'm just trying to influence the kids and teach them as much as I learned growing up. I'm having fun with it. I'm looking forward to the second half of our season. We have a really good team. I'm just going to try and guide them and motivate them for the next half. Cape Breton West saw a few players make the jump as a result of their success last year, which is not surprising. Who are some players on your team that we should be watching out for down the road in the queue? I think right now we have two drafted players, one for Ramuski. Jack Morris, he's a defenseman. We have a very good first line. There's a couple guys, Stephen Fox, Cal McPherson, Fergus McDonald. I'd say if, if they're not the top line. In the Maritimes, I think they're definitely the top line in our league. We got a few good rookies this year. We had five guys that were in the QMJHL All-Star game. Just the prospects game in Monks, and they do with the Monktonian every year. That was a high for Cape Breton West to have five people in the game. Those guys would be Matt Ellis. He'd be Colton Ellis' brother. Chase Ellis, Ben McClellan, Neil McLean, and Del Welton. And those guys are all defensemen. They're getting looked at for the Q this year, so I'm hopefully they have a good uh, second half of the season. And they'll be looked at in the draft for sure. So many great Cape Breton sounding names there. And looking at the standings, I know it would be a high order to repeat what they did last year, but certainly it looks like they're going to be in the mix the rest of the season. Lastly, I'll ask, what about yourself, Nick? What else is going on other than coaching? I'm just finishing up my business degree at UMB. I have two classes left, so I'm currently working on them. I'm running a little power skating school here in Bedeck every Friday. Something to give back to the community and a little pastime, teach the kids little stuff and I'm having fun with it. The kids like it. That's really about it that's going on right now. Well, we appreciate you telling us all about it, and fans will be watching to see how the Islanders do this year. Thanks, and best of luck going forward. Okay, yeah, no problem, Pat. That's former Scream Eagles for Nick McNeil, now an assistant coach with the Cape Breton West Islanders, joining us on the broadcast. You're listening to Carstar, Cape Breton, Scream Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.